I've been lobstering for 46 years. I started out with my dad, and I've been going ever since. So that's a keeper. I like to bring my traps in for the winter because of the weather. I was over at the beach doing some shoveling the whole bit. There was a friend of mine right there with me. I said, boy, I, I really don't feel good. He goes, just sit down for a minute. He says, you, you'll be all right, he says. Told him to call 911. We went to Southern Maine. The other ambulance came and then they, they wheeled me out and away I went for Maine Medical. P1 is ready, starting new case. There aren't many things in medicine as dramatic as opening up an artery and stopping a heart attack. You have roughly, you know, two, three, four hours to open up that artery and stop the heart attack. Here we go, picture, ready? So it is gonna be the LED. How are you feeling up there? Two of your arteries are completely open and look great, and one of them's got a 95% narrowing in it. We have an expression that time is muscle, and our program is designed to peel off time. It's gonna take another 15 minutes or so. Are you okay up there? In early 2000, the way we treated heart attacks changed dramatically. We shifted from treating patients with clot busting medications over to sometimes using angioplasty to mechanically open up the artery. We just put the stent in. Germany. If a patient activates 911, the EMS team does an electrocardiogram. They diagnose the heart attack and then they activate the system. We work towards developing protocols and pathways so that patients entering a main health hospital got the best care for the location they presented to and were rapidly transferred to Maine Medical Center for ultimate care of their heart attack. A critical part to our success has been to ensure that the patient leaves the main medical center after their episode of care and returns to their local community for ongoing local cardiovascular care. It helps to have patients um, be able to come back to their community after having uh, a heart attack. We're able to follow them, adjusting their medications, looking for any concerns for further disease. We do offer a cardiac rehab, which is great for our patients. It helps them to develop good exercise habits. It also makes them more confident in what they can do afterwards. When we started the program, about 50% of patients received what we would consider timely care. What we know now is that we're doing that over 90% of the time. We've cut the death rate from having a heart attack by about 50% in the main health communities. We really have achieved a program that began with overcoming a problem of access of care. We've cut the cost of providing that care. The length of stay is down, the complication rate is down, and we've improved the outcomes. And so it's very exciting for me to now hear this term, the triple aim, and realize before it had a name, we were working on it. We're problem solvers. We train together, we work together, and because of that, our system is far more efficient and patients are going home soon. I'm really happy to be back. I can go lobstering and been doing basically everything that, that I always have. I was really lucky. Everybody was really good, did as much as they could for me. That's why I'm still here today, because of all, all those people. <laughs>